Spencer, a shock 2-1 home defeat to Gosport Borough tonight. What's your reaction? Obviously, you know, very disappointed, but I think you've got a you know, desperate to, to put the same team out on Saturday, of course. We seem to, uh, this season, have a real struggle at home. We've had some very good away performances Saturday included. Again, two players turn around and say they can't play tonight. We can't get the same 11 out. And we ended up, what, with three 16-year-olds on the pitch, more injuries tonight. Gosport just wanted it a bit more. We warned them about it. We, we knew that Gosport had improved. We're really making excuses. I'm very proud of the fact we had lots of academy boys on the pitch, not for five minutes, for 45 minutes, for 35 minutes. And we, we just can't get the consistency in the side. And it's starting to get to us. You know, we feel happy when we're playing away at the moment. I said it was an excellent performance on Saturday, but we're just constantly having to change the team. And, you know, sadly, we did well beaten around the legs. We're having, you know, I think we ended up with four strikers on the pitch because, we're, we're, you know, as a club, we're not going to bring in lots of new players at this stage of the season. You know, our season sadly was we went gun ho at the start of the season. We tried, and unfortunately, we found, we found wanting a bit with huge injuries in a very tough division. So why would we go and sign a lot, lot of new players? I, I'm proud of the fact that Matt Rodman scored, um, and you know, EJ got on for a large amount of the game. You know, Patrick's come back. You know, Bobby Dormer's come from step four. You know, these aren't lads that are established, and, and I do think the senior players have let them down. But we're asking an awful lot of a, a lot of young players, and ridiculously young, uh, the lads from Bristol as well. And it's it's very tough. But you know, what what would you know? What should we do? Should we do different? Go and spend money that in a, in a dead season, sadly, and in a season that I think I mentioned at the start, I thought it was a concern that there was only one going down. It makes it very difficult, but it gives an opportunity for lads and people like Matt to to score his first. You know, senior goal so great for him but we're, we're, we're ridiculously young so I'm really frustrated because we, so we were excellent on Saturday and those very bad that didn't get up there and supported us were fantastic and, but we're not showing it at home and obviously there's nothing harder test than almost the runaway league leaders at the moment who won 5 nil away last night it's going to be very difficult for us and we don't know who's going to turn up you know and we clearly you know at this level we need senior players and you know consistency and, and we don't have that due to injury suspe silly suspensions too many people away as I said it's it's not just tonight the players are away every week there seems to be people who suddenly send me a text oh I can't play this week it's just not good enough because they're letting us down but don't want to be too harsh on them as much as it's a desperately disappointing not just result but performance I thought we were very poor and the, the reality to it is, is I'm still very proud of the fact of what the youngsters we put out and loans that we put out uh, I mean if you take Paul Jamie out I mean I dare not think what our average age was I'd be very surprised if we got anywhere near 20 so yeah, it's a learning experience and, and we'll continue to do that um, and, and try and improve the players and try and get some consistency and I suppose there's nothing better than having the toughest task of all at home on Saturday as you say, home form has been quite poor this season. How do you turn that around? Well, it's difficult, obviously. It was well known, I think, two, three years ago. We couldn't win away for a very long time. Now we're very solid away. We actually want to you know, do really well away from home. We, we're very focused. We're set up very well. But we come home and, as I said, you know, I wanted to put the same team out. We were excellent Saturday. And I can't do that. As I said, players not available, suspensions, injuries... I don't think we've ever seen a season of injuries like it. And you know, in a normal season, if we were competing for something, I'd go out and replace those players. But I think I counted nine senior players missing today. Nine. And that's not an excuse, as I said, because it's a credit the fact that these we've got what 23 points or something. We're in no risk of any relegation, we're nowhere near it. And I don't want to overreact because I thought we were excellent Saturday, but I don't want to also take anything away that I'm absolutely gutted and furious that for the, the small amount of fans who did turn up on a very cold night that we've we've managed to lose to Gosport and you know let's face it we scored you know an awful lot of goals against them earlier this season but we didn't look like doing it tonight when you miss the penalty at the start I think if that goes in you know their keepers man of the match I'd imagine I think he's made what three or four great saves but don't take anything away from them they were desperate to get their first away win of the season congratulate them and you know we need to be better but we're not going to change the stance of the club at the moment. The attitude is, is that you know, we've cut the budget right down, but mainly because players aren't available. So if they're not here, we don't have to pay their expenses. We don't pay them. And, and we need to try and... We desperately need a good home performance. You know, for, for all our doggedness and, and, and organisation away from home, we, we, 
we desperately, I know I desperately, desperately want a good home performance for the fans who come and support us because at the moment they have every right to be annoyed and, and, and give out flack. But as I said, we're a club that's brought through lads and I'm, I'm delighted for Matt. Um, but you can't ask 16-year-olds and lads that have come from lower levels to just jump in. We need the senior players available and we need them to stand up when they're on the pitch and at the moment they're being found wanting, certainly at home. Of course, it doesn't get any easier on Saturday. How much do you know about Kings Lynn? Yeah, they're top of the league by a mile. They won 5-0 away from home yesterday. Terry Brown, who was here before the game, told me they're the best team he's played this season by some distance. I think that's probably all I need to know at the moment. No, we're, we're gonna, I don't want to overreact. So as much as I was furious at half-time and, and said some pretty demanding points, and I thought we were very slightly better second half, not much. The reality to it is, is that... You know, it's. I think it's almost a free shot for us. You know, we we, we are where we are, players wise. I'm not going to make. Don't have anybody else ready to come in. We're a couple of lads possibly available. Perry's still suspended. Very very tough game, but that's what it is. And let's let's get on with it. I think everyone would have said Gosport we had a very tough game here tonight. Unfortunately, it didn't work out that way, and we've got to try and. And, and use that as a positive for what will be a very difficult game on Saturday. Congratulations tonight. Thanks for your time, Spencer. Cheers, Tom.